welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having a great day. As you can see, we're down here in sunny Florida, Miami, Florida to be exact. And I think you guys know where I'm at if you're looking at the background here. Yes, we are down here at All American Cycle down here in Miami, Florida. And as you can see, I got my mom's bike right here behind me with the new CR483 cam we just put in it. And we also got my bike back here as well with the all new wrap wheels and the whole new look for 2024. So I'll show you guys a little bit more of that here in a minute it definitely looks killer out here in the sunlight guys so uh, but anyway what we're doing today is we are getting my mom's bike dyno tuned on 93 george is going to tune the bike on 93 being that we came down for daytona bike week figured i would drive an extra four hours past daytona just to come down and see george again so he could tune my mom's bike with the new cr483 cam uh, the bike currently has a can tune from fuel moto and we haven't had time to ride it or test it in michigan obviously because it's been snowing and it's been cold so we haven't had a chance to test it but since we're down here in florida i said you know what we might as well just bring it to george and have him tune it on 93 for my mom that way i know it's going to be a killer tune and she's going to love riding it with that being said we're also going to throw my bike back on the dyno because i went ahead and changed the exhaust up as you guys know i was running a thunderheader exhaust last time i was here when he tuned it switched it up to the fuel moto fab spec stainless pipe um, those pipes are different they're not much different but they are different and George recommended that I do get it retuned so being that we are down here in Florida I figured it was smart to just come down here drive the extra four hours from Daytona have it retuned on the dyno that way I know it's safe and I know it's gonna run good so that's what we're doing today guys we're gonna be dynoing my mom's bike and my bike stay tuned it's gonna be a good one all right guys so if you haven't seen the bike on the channel yet this is my mom's 2022 road glide special in coral reef blue and vivid black really sharp color on this bike as you can see out in the sunlight that blue really pops and uh this bike is a stage two bike we've got the dnd billet cat two into one exhaust we've got an arlen ness air cleaner on there and we just put the cycle rama cr483 cam in this bike if you guys haven't seen that video make sure you guys go check it out we just put that cam in this bike and it sounds amazing that new cr483 cam chops so hard it's one of the most wanted cams of 2023 2024 and uh, everybody wants that cam because of how good it sounds and how good it chops and how good it performs so what i'm going to do today is show you guys how well that cam performs on the dyno look at this color in the sunlight guys mom is styling she is ready for daytona bike week we're going to get this thing tuned up today and she's going to be ripping wheelies by the end of the day and then over here we got my 2019 road glide with the new rc component laguna wheels the new wrap the new graphics i just put on it and the new pipe, the two into one stainless fuel moto fab spec pipe. Same engine combo I had when I came down the first time. It's a 130 cubic inch motor tuned on E85. George is gonna slap it on the dyno just to retune it with the new pipe because he says that the pipe definitely will throw the tune off. So since we're down here tuning my mom's bike and since we're down here in Florida for bike week, I figured why not bring it down and have it dyno tuned and get it perfected. It took us 24 hours to drive straight through and we are absolutely whooped but we're excited at the same time because I can't wait to see what that 483 cam does on the dyno and get this thing retuned. And bike week starts later this week, guys. So can't wait to bring you guys some epic content from Daytona. So I just want to give you guys a walk around of the bike with the new graphics and wheels out in the sunlight. It's been snowing, cold and rainy at home. Haven't had a chance to ride the bike. So um, cannot wait to get on it and put some miles on it this week down here in Florida, guys. Check out these wheels love the way the 21 inch looks on the front what do you guys think comment down below let me know your thoughts you guys like the wrap do you not like the wrap you like the wheels you like all the gold accents let me know in the comments below guys look this guy's even got the gap cam on the back this performance bagger just pulled into all american cycle beautiful bike He's got a GoPro on his uh, back fender right by the seat bolt, seat screw. <laughs> I said he's got his gap cam on. Hey, you know what? I saw you last year at Ford's at Garage, Ford's garage yeah. right by in Daytona. Beautiful bike, man. You did more to it. You painted it or something. You added yeah, the gold. Yeah, pinstripes. Looks good. Bunch of stuff since that time. Hell yeah. Just did the motor too, the one, same 130 you got. Oh, really? All right, guys, so we just got my mom's Road Glide up here on the dyno. Uh, cannot wait to see what kind of numbers we can pull out of this. What do you guys think? Comment down below. What do you guys think this bike's going to make with the Cyclorama 483 cam? George is ready to come in here and work his magic and see what kind of numbers we can get out of the Cyclorama 483 cam with the D&D Billet Cat exhaust. 
and the Harlan Ness air cleaner. Alright guys, let's see what she does. George, talk to us. What we got here? That's before and after. Okay. Um, so this is the before was the can tune from Fuel Moto. So go ahead and explain that. Right. It's, it's a good tune. It's just that it's not specifically for this bike. So there's there's a lot of differences. This um, just proves that every bike should be dyno tuned because yeah. every bike is different. The AFR is completely different. Every bike's completely different. What did you say? Um, it was running lean at first, right? Yeah, I was running very lean. Okay. Um, it picked up a good amount of power. It picked up like what six horsepower. Let me do this. It picked up six horsepower and about another four or five foot pounds of torque. Um, it's obviously a much cleaner graph. It makes a lot of power down yeah, low. Look at that, guys. Look at the blue line versus the red line. Before and after. Wow. Yeah. And now let me, just, let me just show you the blue line by itself. That's really nice. That's a beautiful graph. Look at that, guys. Do you like this cam? Yeah, it's for anyone that's looking for torque down low, this cam is really good. Well, there's the final numbers, guys. 119.99, so basically 120 horse and 128.91, so really like 129 foot pounds of torque. It's a stout beast. Hell yeah. And it carries it for a long yeah. time. Yes. It carries it all the way from pretty much, you're above 120 foot pounds of torque from like 27, 2200. All the way past 5,000 RPMs. Wow. So that's great. That also has to do with the D and D exhaust, though. Yes. Don't think that you're gonna put a shorty exhaust under and you're gonna have this torque curve. Okay. Um, you're definitely gonna have a big dip down low. The D and D is known for this. A D and D okay. with the right cam will always have a beautiful bottom end, awesome. all the way to across. Great. Thank you so much for everything you do. Awesome, bro. All right, guys, so we're back in the lab once again at All American Cycle. Got the road glide up here on the dyno, and what we're getting ready to do is run it with the new fuel moto pipe. Um, he's just going to make sure everything looks safe on the graph with the new pipes.
let me call you right back. All right guys, so we just got both bikes off the dyno. As you guys can see, my mom's bike with the new CR483 cam did really well. Basically made 120 horsepower and 130 foot-pounds of torque. Definitely woke the bike up a lot. It's stock injectors, stock manifold, stock everything else. Literally just an air cleaner, a pipe, and a cam. Definitely happy with the results of the CR483 cam and my mom's road glide. Now moving on over to my bike here. Um, obviously, as you saw in the video, we re dynoed it with the new fuel moto pipe and everything went good. The bike made a little bit less power than it did last time and it's simply because I went to a Shinko Hookup Pro tire which is a lot stickier tire and when it's on the dyno and it heats up, it gets really hot and sticky which causes it to make less numbers on the dyno. And as you guys know, I went to a chain drive which also loses numbers on the dyno because it's more rotating weight than the stock belt. So I knew that going into this that I'd probably be down a few horsepower and actually I was down exactly that. I was down five horsepower and five foot pounds of torque from my previous dyno tune here at All American Cycle when I came down here the first time. Um, after talking to George, he definitely thinks that this pipe is great. I didn't lose the power because of the pipe. I lost the horsepower numbers and torque because of the chain drive and the Shinko hookup sticky tire that I have on the bike. So I'm super stoked with how everything turned out. I knew I was going to be losing numbers on the dyno. Honestly guys, I don't care about the dyno numbers. I don't chase dyno numbers. As long as the bike works and performs well on the street and at the track and it's the look I want and the sound I want, that's all that matters to me. I don't care if the bike makes 150 horsepower or 170 horsepower. As long as it works and I like the way it sounds and looks, I would be happy. So very stoked on how the new Road Glide turned out. Love the graphics, love the wheels, love the pipe. Sounds amazing, it's everything I wanted. Once again, a huge shout out to George and all his people at All American Cycle. They definitely hooked me up once again and made me feel like family here in Miami, Florida. If you guys are in the market to modify your Harley in any way, stage one, two, three, four, 143, 149 kit, whatever your budget is, make sure you guys hit them up. I'll put a link in the description below on all their information. 
all american cycle in miami florida they definitely hook it up george and his crew are great guys and they definitely treat you like family here and that's why i came back down 1500 miles one way literally took us 24 hours to get here and I do it because George is a great tuner. He knows his stuff. He tunes reliably. He tunes in the safe zone. He doesn't have these bikes running on their ragged edge. As you guys know, my bike's tuned on E85, but that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. We're getting ready to hop on these bikes and go down to bike night. There's a bike night down here in Fort Lauderdale. So we're gonna hop on the bikes and go check that out. That's gonna do it for today's video, guys. If you like the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate all your support on the channel. Once again, huge shout out to George and his crew at All American Cycle. They are a great group of guys that treat you like family and get you right. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Daytona Bike Week is here. I will be posting daily vlogs all week long from Daytona. After tonight, we're heading north up to Daytona Beach for all the Bike Week action. So stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss it. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.